Okay, everyone, it's Mr. Robson. We're going to do geometric interpretations of arithmetic operations, so like adding, subtracting, multiplying, and so on, of complex numbers. But before we do that, let's take a moment and think about what makes a number. When you first started education and you were learning about numbers, if you took the number three, you would think of three dots or so. And then eventually moved on to a number line where you went zero and one, two, three, and you would think it was three. And then someone turned and said, oh, there's also a negative three, which would be over here. And so what we start to create, I believe, is when we introduce a negative or a positive, we have not just a magnitude, but we also have a direction. And so I would argue that numbers consist of a direction, plus or minus, and a magnitude. It sounds very similar to vectors. And on that note, let's consider this scenario here. Okay, so I'm going to draw Z1, which is two minus five. So two, negative five, is here is two minus five i. And Z2 is three plus four i. So here is Z2, Z2, which is equal to three plus four i. And I'm going to now calculate Z1 plus Z2. Oh, Z2. Well, I know I add them together and I get five. Negative five plus four is negative one. Okay, if I draw that one, I'm gonna get five, negative one. I'm gonna change this one to green. Five, negative one. This is Z1 plus Z2. So now it says connect the origin to all three of them. So here is the origin from here. We also have Z1 here, and we have Z2. Oh, let me try that one again. We have Z2. All right, and so now, some observations we might have, and it might be easier if I take a look and if I take this and put it here. All right, and what we've done is we've added the two numbers together, and it is just like adding vectors. It's like adding vectors. Complex numbers have a magnitude and they have a direction, just like vectors do. And so when we add ve uh, complex numbers, it's like adding vectors. Now I've backtracked also, and the other connection I want you to make is we know it's like adding vectors, but I also want you to consider this, okay? So if I'm gonna go Z1 plus Z2, okay, I could take this here. Another way to consider this is that this three is a horizontal translation of three units. So I'm gonna go in three units, a horizontal shift plus three. And I could also think of it and the four I, the four I is a vertical shift up four. And so not only am I adding vectors, but I can also geometrically think of it as shifts. I'm gonna add two to this, so a horizontal shift, and then up four means that I'm gonna have a vertical shift as well. So there's a second way to consider looking at your complex numbers when you are adding them. Let's try subtracting now, the same idea. Let's do Z3 is negative one, positive three i, and I'm going to, there is z or z3, and z4 is two minus i, two minus i is z4. Calculate z3 minus z4, well z3 minus z4 is equal to minus one, subtract two is negative three, three, Minus negative one is three plus one is four plus four i. So if I go negative three plus four i, I get here. This is z three minus z four. And so now I want to connect them all. Here is z three minus z four. Here is z three. Here is z four. And again, if I take Z3, which is here, positive, and minus Z4, 
means I'm going to go in this direction, changing the directions like vectors. And then if I take that vector and if I put it here, you can see that it is again repeated as subtracting complex numbers is like subtracting vectors. There is a clear uh, association between vectors and complex numbers.